everyone this is your science teacher from welkin national school today we are going to learn lesson number 14 inside the kitchen from standard 3 students there are different ways of cooking and methods of cooking are there they are boiling roasting steaming and frying children cooking is a process of preparing food by applying heat why do we cook food we cook food so that it becomes soft kills germs and makes it easy to digest students here many ways of eating we usually eat food in many forms such as raw cooked or both cooked food stuffs become softer tastier and easier to digest so what is cooked food cooked food means some foods must be cooked before they are eaten they are vegetables meat eggs and milk products then second is uncooked food what is uncooked food uncooked food is also called as raw food there are many food items which can be prepared without cooking such as fruit salad dried fruits vegetable salad and sprouted greens next point is food that is eaten both raw and cooked food that is eaten both raw and cooked some foods we can eat by both ways cooked and raw raw both are they are x tomatoes carrots and green peas and that's how food is cooked in different kitchens and that's what goes on inside the kitchen now let's learn some new terms a combustible substance what is combustible substance a substance that can burn is called a combustible substance for example camphor cloth and wood Let's go to the next term that is fuel. What is fuel? A combustible substance that can be used for obtaining heat is called a fuel. Those substances which burn easily and give plenty of heat on burning are called fuels. For example, cooking gas kerosene and coal we usually cook food inside the kitchen so let's learn the different types of cooking device all methods of cooking need heat so in every kitchen there has to be some instruments which can give heat to cook the food first one is your gas stove this one is gas stove in many houses there are gas stoves for cooking in a gas stove we burn lpg when the gas burns it gives us heat to cook the food next one is induction gas this one is induction stove these days people have also started using the induction stove induction stove works on electricity next one is kerosene stove this one is kerosene stove kerosene stoves to cook 
tiller with firewood. Earlier people used to cook food on chulas. This word is chulas in which they would put firewood but that makes a lot of smoke. We have cut down trees to get firewood. Children, do you know it's not good to cut down the trees. We need forest to live. Next one is solar cooker. We can use solar cookers. Here are some solar cookers are there. Solar cookers. We can use solar cookers which work on the heat of the sun. The sun has a lot of heat and light to give us. We can use it all we want. Now let us have a short recap of what we have learned in this chapter. We cook food by heating. It makes the food tastier and easier to digest. Boiling, steaming, frying and roasting are some of the different ways of providing heat. Salads and milkshakes are examples of food items that are prepared without heating. There are various kinds of stoves which make it convenient to burn fuel to obtain heat for cooking. Electricity and heat from the sun can also be used to obtain heat for cooking. Using wood or coal as fuels causes harm to the trees in our environment. Students, I hope you all of you have enjoyed learning this chapter. Take care and keep learning. Thank you.